Hello. Good morning. Talk. 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 Are you at home? Today is the eighteenth of December. 2022, which corresponds according to lunar calendar, that is uh, water, tiger year, <clears throat> 21, 49, 25th. And also, it it corresponds to the fifth of the tenth month, according to lunar calendar, which corresponds also <coughs> very important day. That is um, Dakini's day, and also one of the great. Tibetan master who was known as the uh, Jezongkapa, which uh, all the those who are Buddhist show great veneration because his his uh, Writings and his teachings all over, all over Tibet, especially according to Ganden or Geluk tradition. So, as it's also it's important today, it's Guru Rinpoche's day, which is we call Dakini's day. Even everyone who is devoted to Guru Padma Sambhava, they try try to do some practice. When the moon is waxing and moon, when moon is tent or day of the moon is waning, so what I want is I wish you all. Wonderful day, very wonderful day, and whatever you can do with your body, with your speech and mind, it seems that we all, we all, all living beings wish to be happy, whether it's human beings and non-human beings. We should be happy, and we have to provide cause for happiness. Best what we can. Keeping our body, and speech, mind, and most virtuous way. For this, according to Vajrayana, we talk about three Vajras. Vajra body, Vajra speech, and Vajra mind. Vajra means like the diamond, indestructible. What will make indestructible? If we try to be positive with our body, speech, mind, to, to be able to do that, then we try to see illusory or emptiness nature of our body, our speech, and our mind. On the basis of this, and also, it is really important to remember the sublime beings. Teacher like Buddha Shakyamuni, who is very important for many, many living beings. Thanks to his kindness, his compassion, and his dedication. That we have access to freedom. That is to say, Prince Siddhartha, who became enlightened, became known as Buddha Shakyamuni. 
He did everything for us. Totally dedicated life after life for, for three infinite eons with fully like full of love and compassion. Thanks to him, we have access to the wisdom that can find us freedom. So, I would request everyone who have who have a chance to listen to this message, please try to be positive by your body, by your speech, and by your mind. And I would very much like to invoke, call upon the Prince Siddhartha who became Buddha, the awakened one, who have been a most precious teacher or guide. So I would like to call upon him on the basis of refuge in Sanskrit, in Tibetan, also its translation. Buddham Sharanam Gachame Dhammam Saranam Gachame Sangam Saranam Gachame I pay homage to the awakened one. I will pay, I will pay homage to his guide, to his teachings, the Dharma. And I pay homage to those who follow his teaching, the noble community. Lamala Jyotsu, Sanjali Jyotsu, Chuli Jyotsu, Binduni Jyotsu, the Kodun Bajrayana. We call upon the teacher who embodies the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Now I would like to call upon the Buddha, the kind teacher. The Yata Om Muni Muni Maha Munaye Soha Om Muni Muni Maha Munaye Soha Om Muni Muni Maha Munaye Soha Now, as usual, I would like to call upon great teacher Padmasambha who is no other than Buddha himself as it he mentions in the in the Mahabari Nirvana Sutra, the great enlightened enlightenment or Nirvana Sutra that he is going to manifest as Padmasambhava. He is no other than Buddha himself. Who is this? But but my sambo. Om Om Baja Guru Bad Masidi Om 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 Baja Guru Bad Masidi Om 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 Baja Guru now, I would like to call upon Lord of Great Compassion, Generousik, our Lord to show you. Om Ani Padme Ori Om Ani Padme Source of Lord of Great Compassion is Buddha Amitabha. So, Om Amen Dewari, Om Amen Dewari, Om Amen Dewari, Om Amen Dewari. The 
Buddha Amitabha, it means Buddha of infinite light. Next, I would like that everyone who hears the name of Buddha Amitayu, Buddha of infinite life, so that you can follow, <coughs> repeat his mantra, which removes obstacles in life and as well as prolongs your life, gives quality of your life. Om Amarane Jivandeye Soha Om Amarane Jivandeye Soha Om Amarane Jivandeye Soha Many people are facing trouble, health trouble. For this reason, I would like to call upon Buddha of medicine. The Yatam Bekanze Bekanze Ma Bekanze Bekanze Raja Samad Gade Soha The Yatam Bekanze Bekanze Ma Bekanze Raja Samad Gade Soha Dea Tom Beganze, Beganze, Maha Beganze, Raja Samutka, Dea Soha. Now I would like to call upon the Mother Tara, who protects, who guides all living beings. Um dare de dare do re so Um dare de dare do re so Um dare de dare do re so Um dare de dare do to dare so am dare to dare do re so ha. Now I will call upon Buddha wisdom or the mental shri. Umara bhajana de, Umara bhajana de, Umara bhajana de. Om Bhadra Bhane Hum Om Bhadra Bhane Hum Om Bhadra Bhane Hum This is the mantra of of Bhadra Bhane, the mind, nature, world, enlightened ones. So please, if you can repeat this or if you just listen to it on the basis of four boundless the love the compassion joy and Im impartiality why love love is an en em em like element and that would reduce all kind of selfishness when we cultivate the love an unconditioned way toward every living being. It naturally is supposed to reduce selfishness. Likewise, if we could try to cultivate compassion toward every living being, like our only child, that Wishing everyone be free from suffering and its cause is what we call the compassion. Third element is a joy instead of jealousy. It is something really precious. When we are jealous, very often we are not aware. 
But when we're jealous, we can't stand the happiness for others. That destroys every virtue we might have. In an instant, that's what we don't want. Lose everything. Instead of that, if we could rejoice happiness for others. When someone's happy and well, rejoice it instead of jealousy. Why? Because we want everyone, including ourselves, be happy without any trouble. The jealousy which destroys everything. Most people don't even notice when they are jealous. But it destroys everything what we have, the little things what we have. Then there's three, three things. The love, compassion, and joy should be impartial. Equanimity is something really very important element which fulfills every wishes we might have. On the basis of the four boundaries, love, compassion, joy, and impartiality, please try to cultivate in whatever way you can with generosity, discipline, tolerance, diligence, concentration or meditation, and what? Wisdom. Generous, is, generous attitude is something really very, very powerful which helps us to be able to achieve whatever we wish. But this needs to be done on the basis of discipline. And it is only possible to practice discipline if we could try to develop some sense of uh, tolerance or patience, then it's possible. Then that is possible if we if we are diligent. And then how how can we develop that with concentration, without distraction. And how we can make that happen when we focus without clinging on the subject, object, action. That's what we can call it, the wisdom. So I wish that this, this day would bring happiness and peace to every one of you. And please try to have right attitude toward all living beings, like only our child or our mother. That's what we would call mother sentient beings. According to the teaching of the Buddha, there's not a single being who has been who there's not a single being who has not been our, our mother, beloved mother. Please try to help whoever you can. Even if you can't help, please do not harm anyone. Everyone need and wish to be happy, so therefore, even if you can't help anyone, please try to avoid harming others. And whatever you can, share. Whatever, please share with everyone. Sharing with others, feeding people, poor people and animals. Sharing whatever we might have that we, we don't use, but it's better to give it away so that we have more space. There is different like him. Um, organizations of groups like in different places that we have like Casa who feed people, poor people and there's also the Mother Earth who are trying to <coughs> help promote the goal or cause 
the protection of our environment. It's something really, very precious. And also for your own health, please try to promote like being vegan. It's all what we could. Being vegan is really, in one way, we have difficult to understand, but brings us the better health. So, I wish you all, everyone, everyone, be well and happy and in peace. Especially now when we are approaching the new year and before that the Christmas. Please try to do whatever you can to help everyone. Avoid harming others, including animals. That's my humble request as a humble human being requesting you do this. It's for you, for every one of you. This is Sanskrit translation into Tibetan. That's the teaching. Everything has reason and cause. The Tathagata, the Buddha Shakyamuni, declared, avoid all harms, engage virtue, especially train your mind. And the essence of that, please practice non-violence and cultivate good heart and love. Cultivate good heart. And according to the, our teacher, guide his own Dalai Lama, wish everyone try to do what they can toward others having, developing a heart. Now what can we do for the peace throughout the inter-existence? At least for the human beings, we have seven or now eight billion beings. Please try to have the right attitude. Having that attitude, oneness of all humanity, all beings, in general, particularly humanity. All my best wishes and love. May you be well and happy. And for during the coming year as well. Peace, happiness, freedom to everyone. May the trouble of ecology. May the trouble of war, famine, subside. There w- may there be no trouble, but only peace. Thank you.